Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August, okay? So this could happen at any time in August. may not happen at all because this reading may not be for you. So we got three that just fell out. We're going to go ahead and take them. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. candle you will be shown the way so there's light you're going to be shown the way funnel period of frustration lessons to be learned you're going to be shown the way you're obviously in a frustrating situation Ooh, chair empty someone is leaving your life okay and you know the in however way that resonates, somebody is leaving your life, they could just be moving, okay? They could be moving. Um, you're going to be shown the way. There's a period of frustration. There's a lesson to be learned. Very interesting. What do we have for Aquarius? Some of you have a secret admirer. Oh, we got four of them. We got to take them. Oh, or three of them. Now we got four. Bad advice from a friend or family member. So you got some bad advice here. Somebody is giving you bad advice, a friend or family member. 111, instant manifestation. Be careful with your thoughts because your thoughts become things. Okay. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Okay, your soulmate is not who you think it is. Somebody has a secret admirer here. Could be you, could be whoever you think your soulmate is. Your soulmate may have a secret admirer and, you know, something is going to come up, you know. Um, we do have a younger man here that is playing a part. So however that resonates with you. Um, one is a number of intuition. You need to listen to your intuition. Pay attention. Pay attention to your thoughts, okay? Um, there's some sort of bad advice here. Uh, your soulmate is not who you think it is. Wonderful. Um, someone is leaving your life. You're going to be shown the way. There's a lesson to be learned. just ask there's obviously some angels around or uh, spirit guides there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time we are made up the, of the divine source your loved ones friends guides angels and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you we are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance so you need to ask for help and guidance, but you need to be able to receive what they bring you, okay? Some of you are trying to manifest a certain person because one is about manifestation and it's next to that your soulmate is not who you think it is. So I think that you need to beware. Beware of what you're trying to manifest. The universe and God is not going to bring you somebody against their will if that's what you're doing. I'm not saying all of you are doing that, but uh, I feel like there is at least somebody that is. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Um, I think that you are, man you have maybe you have manifested a soulmate, but it's not who you think it is, okay? Anyhow, someone is leaving your life. You're gonna need to ask for assistance. Ask for, ask them to bring you what is meant for you, okay? But you need to be willing to accept it, and I think that could be an issue. Um, so let's get one of these. Somebody here has a secret admirer, whether it's you or the person that you're, you're trying to manifest. We have wedding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage, so there's something to do with a wedding in the future. You may be marrying a soulmate. I don't know why I feel like I need to get another one for you, but I do. 
Um, oh, it's interesting. I need to get another one for you, but I do. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Honeymoon. Enjoy the, ho the time of holiday bliss together. I feel like you're going to be connecting with somebody. It's not this person. Okay, you need to release somebody. I feel like you're going to be enjoying time with somebody that I don't know if you're going to end up marrying this person or what. It could also be your ex because I just put your ex card on top of those two cards. You know, if you're trying to uh, get your ex to come back, maybe this person is, you know, with somebody they're going to marry. I mean, there's, there is a... a Oh, a wedding in the future between two people, okay? So what do we have for Aquarius? You will be shown the way. Someone is leaving your life. There's a lesson to be learned. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is a card of juggling. It's also profit and a loss. Balance, need to be flexible, need to adapt, need to adapt to change. <clears throat> there's a choice that needs to be made. There's a realignment here. There's a geometric power that is realigning you. Seven of Swords reverse, getting caught. I don't know if somebody's getting caught doing something. They have, I don't know what they've done, but this is getting caught. I believe that there's some, this is, or coming clean. Somebody may be coming clean. <clears throat> Two of swords torn in two different directions. There's obviously two options. We have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling with a choice. They're struggling with a decision, a partnership. First card out is the two of pentacles. The third card is the two of swords. Twos are about partnerships. They're about unions. They're about foundations. They're about faith and trust. They're about changes in choices. So somebody is making a choice right now. They are very much struggling between two options. They may be feeling cheated. There may have been some cheating with the Seven of Swords reversed, getting caught. Um, somebody may be also caught off guard. They may be caught off guard by some sudden choice that needs to be made. <clears throat> nine of Pentacles reverse. Action needs to be taken. When you get the Nine of Pentacles reverse, this is insecure. There's a need for discipline. You must take action. Okay, there is somebody here that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, that is not enjoying their life. They're in a situation where they're not allowed to be themselves or they're not being themselves or they're in it just because they don't want to be alone. There's a need to um, know your value, know your worth and take action. You know, you complete you. Nobody completes you. You complete you. I feel like we have some stormy weather ahead. I feel like there's somebody's going to get caught doing something. They've been doing something behind the scenes. It feels like they've overcommitted themselves and there's going to be a fall. It's like there's going to be there, some they're gonna, there's going to be a fall of some sort. Somebody's trying to do too much. They think they're getting away with it. They're not going to get away with it and it's going to cause some sort of uh, emotional discontent queen of cups uh pisces cancer scorpio so we have pisces cancer scorpio here we also have air uh air libra gemini aquarius and taurus virgo capricorn um there's some sort of emotional discontent this is a lack of emotional uh ability somebody's not emotionally available they're emotionally withdrawn they um, may have a victim mentality. They may, this could be an unrequited love situation, you know, where it's one sided. There's one sided love here. Seven of Cups. We got somebody right next to the Seven of Swords reverse that has multiple options. They're confused. They don't know which, which way to go. And I can see that with the Two of Swords as well. This is struggling with a choice. We have somebody in there. I feel like we have a third party situation here. 
three of cups reversed, I do. I feel like there's some cheating going on, maybe happening on social media, you know, or happening behind this. I do think it's behind the scenes. We have somebody here that is going back and forth, you know, they're they're juggling two options and they're and they're struggling with a choice that needs to be made. They don't want to be alone, and that's why there's things are happening so slow is because it's like I'm going to play it safe and stay in this safe situation when I know that I have another option. It feels like we have somebody here that is communicating with the other option. They may have even cheated with the other option. And um, some sort of truth is about to be revealed. But I feel like there's definitely a lot of choices here, a lot of options. Somebody has been confused with, with what to choose. I think that you need to... Uh, really look you need to look deep at your options you need to uh make sure you're not ignoring your gut listen to your gut you know i feel like you're hearing all kinds of things and you're not sure what to believe i feel like you need to listen to yourself and not another person we got bad advice from a friend or family member you may need to part ways from people that don't really support you if you're staying in a situation because you're worried about what everybody else is going to say that's ego i feel like you need to part ways i feel like there's gossip there's enemies disguised as friends around you you may even have some haters i think that you need to protect yourself I feel like uh, somebody wants to make you feel insecure. This is a completely different message. You got you got either some friends that aren't really your friends, or you have some supporters that say that they're that they are your supporters. They're trying to bring you down, Aquarius. Somebody's trying to bring you down. They're trying to make you feel insecure. That's and they're trying to play mind games. Somebody's playing mind games with you. You know, I'm wondering if somebody is trying to take credit. They're trying to take credit for your work or something. And I don't know if that, that's a completely different story. I feel like I feel like you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed right now during this month because somebody is doing something. Whether, I don't know, somebody's doing something behind another person's back. <clears throat> Four of Wands reversed. Hermit. Let's go within, reflect. You could be also be dealing with a Virgo. I'm just getting some more cards. Eight of Wands, increased communication, um, things speeding up. Some, If you are single and you are watching this and you are not in a commitment and you've been... Uh, exploring your options, if you've been dating or whatnot, you may be... Uh, getting yourself into a commitment very soon, okay? It goes from loneliness to commitment. There's going to be increased communication. Things are going to speed up really, really, really fast. Maybe you have to choose between independence or a partnership. You know, you have to, that's your, that's your, uh, and, and whether you're in a, uh, partnership now, maybe that's the choice. Independence or partnership. Independence or partnership. What is it? What's it going to be? What's it, what's, what's, what's it going to be? <clears throat> Another two. Okay. So we got one, one, one. And we got two, two, two. Ones are about, number one, they're about independence. Number two, they're about two people. What, do you want to be independent or do you want to be in a partnership? That is the question. So we got one, 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 and we got two, two, two. Twos are about partnerships. They're also about faith and trust, choices, changes. I think that th you have an opportunity uh, for things to change. This could be a spur of the moment decision. You may be put in a position where you have to make a per spur of the moment decision. Or your partner does. Um, somebody is going to be making a choice. So they've been confused. They've been exploring other options, whether it's you or whoever you're dealing with. This does have to do with commitment. It has to do with a foundation. Uh, four of Wands reverse. It's like, and the Hermit is about alone. It is about alone. Anyhow. I feel like ready, 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 because the Eight of Wands is ready. Somebody is ready. They're ready. They're ready for a change. You know, they don't want to be alone anymore. I, mean, I think we have somebody here that has been alone, and uh, they've been reflecting on. They've been doing some soul searching. There could be an unexpected commitment here. Not looking for it. Here it is. If you are in a partnership already, there could absolutely be a change because somebody is exploring their options. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to receive some, if you are in a partnership now, I feel like you, there's going to be a sudden change. I think there's, you're, you're going to receive some news that, you know, strikes you off guard. You know, it, it really uh, 
surprises you. Five of Wands reversed. Let's get another card to go with that. Ace of Wands, new sexual partner. Somebody has a new sexual partner here. They do. Five of Wands, competition, extreme competition. Um, a turning point. Relief. The end of a conflict. Could also be a, a battle, a serious battle, a big fight, a big fight. Extreme. Typically, reversals are extremes. Extreme conflict, struggling. Somebody is definitely struggling with a choice. It goes five of wands reversed, seven of cups, and two of swords. So that's ex it's extreme. It's extreme. There's competition. There's competition here. Somebody is is dealing with competition. They may not even know it because it's being hidden. But somebody, something, somebody's about to get caught. We have somebody here that has a wandering eye. Um, they're not really interested in a commitment, which is interesting. Um, this is a dead end. It is a dead end. We have somebody here that needs to re-examine. They need to re-examine their options. They need to re-examine their choices. They're struggling with change. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's another option here that is better suited for you. You need to stop fighting it, whatever it is. Somebody is fighting change. There's going to be a change. There is. Getting caught is going to cause mental turmoil. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why is this happening? This is, I don't want to hear it. 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 This is not what I asked for. No, this is not what I asked for. This is what you get. Page of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. This is a dead end. There's, we have somebody here that is not interested in commitment. They're not interested. They're not committed. They're not fully committed. They're lazy. They're complacent. They don't want to put in the effort. They just want to be lazy. They don't. They don't want to. They don't want to put in the effort. Ace of Wands, climbing, climbing the ladder. Climbing the ladder. This is exciting. This is a fresh start. Starting over. Starting over. You have a choice. You have a choice. Somebody has a choice. They're going to be starting over. Basically, when I see the Ace of Wands, to me, it's like starting with a clean slate. Somebody may be choosing to be single. I think I already said that. Instead of being in a partnership, they've really been struggling with this choice. There's some sort of illusion here as well. It's like... I mean, we have somebody here that has been really confused. Really confused. Really, 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 really confused. Confused about what's really happening. What is the best option? What is the best choice? This is like uh, fantasy, almost in fantasy. Somebody's been in some sort of fantasy land about who their soulmate is. Or about, you know, what is the best choice for their future life? You know, what is, the, what is their best choice? We have somebody here that has really, and I can see the struggle, the two of swords is right behind it, has been struggling with, uh, I don't know, maybe it's their own demons. page of pentacles up right now that is starting over starting a new project starting on a new endeavor that's a new door going through a new path going down a new path somebody is going down a new path it's exciting there's like a new partner here there is 
But you have to choose wisely because what you own owns you. We talk about this with that seven of cups. There's there's consequences for, you know, uh, it feels like pretending, ignoring, you know, you know, living in fantasy. There's consequences. If you want to continue to live in illusion that where you're at is stable and secure and solid. And if it's not, then, hey, there's consequences for that. There is a new exciting opportunity here, but it will require work. It will require you taking the steps to go down that path that you have not been down yet. There could definitely be a separation here with the Four of Wands reverse. That's a false soulmate, right? Um, hermit, hermit is go within, take a time out to reflect, re-identify yourself. Somebody may need to do that. They may need to take a serious time out. And that's away from the world, okay? It's, it's away from other people to re-identify. Don't listen to this bad advice from a friend or family member. Re-identify yourself. Do some soul searching. Become consciously aware of who you are and, and what you deserve. We definitely have somebody here that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. Nine of Pentacles reversed, okay? You know, you need to know your value. You need to know your worth. If you're in a situation where there's no love, which I don't see any love in these cards. There's a whole lot of confusion and fantasy, but that's about it. You know, if there's no love, if there's no real commitment, you know, or if... You know, you're married to somebody where there's no passion, then hey, you got to be honest with yourself. Um, two of Cups reverse separation. I do believe there's a separation or there's, there's a partnership that is not compatible here. There's no compatibility. There could be an argument. There could be a fight. There could be... Uh, a lack of reciprocation, some one-sidedness. We have two people that do not see eye to eye. I feel like there's going to be a separation. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. Okay, there's going to be a separation between you and, and it is chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. There is going to be a separation here. Okay. Between somebody that you have some sort of relationship with. You're going to be moving, if somebody's moving in a new direction, they are, with that Eight of Wands, I think things could happen fast, okay? There could be, it could be very sudden, suddenly alone or sudden, suddenly on your own. There could also be a sudden arrival. There's definitely going to be a sudden change. Going down a new path, starting a new project, starting a new, uh, Path. There's a new doorway that is opening. There is. Somebody is going to be starting over. They've been conflicted. They've been confused. Getting caught. Getting caught. I wonder if somebody's getting caught communicating with one of their other options or they're getting caught in the act with another option. That could be the case. I also, I feel like there's going to be some screaming going on. Screaming and hollering. Just saying. Just shut up. Just shut up. That's what I want to hear. I mean, that's what I want to say. Um, maybe you're hearing all kinds of voices and you just want them to shut up. I don't know if that's the case. Some of you may be in a state. I don't know if there's some self-medicating here for some of you. Somebody, somebody may be self-medicating. They may be hearing things. It's like hearing voices. You know, maybe maybe to shut up those voices, You somebody may need to commit themselves to rehab. You know, commit rehab. Somebody here may need rehab. I don't know who that's for. We definitely have somebody here that is unstable. Absolutely. There's going to be a conflict. Okay, there is going to, maybe there's a conflict of interest here. There's going to be a conflict that causes somebody to, uh, it feels like we have somebody here that is very deceptive, that lies a lot, maybe even has some mental health problems. I feel like this person um, may be going down a new path. Maybe somebody is going to come in and take them down that new path. There's definitely going to be a separation here. You will be shown the way. You're going to be guided towards 
well, it's enlightenment with the hermit card. You're going to be guided towards, it's almost like, I want to say safety. Uh, you're going to be guided to it down a new path that is more stable, that is more toward, down a path to stability, towards something that is stable, that is solid, that is real with this page of pentacles. You're going to be starting over. You're going to be starting over. You're going to be starting something over. Maybe it's, maybe it's, uh, maybe somebody has relapsed from an addiction. I don't know. This is starting over, starting the plan over, starting the project over, starting the, the course over, starting over, starting, you're going to be starting over. This is moving very, very fast. Some, somebody is moving. They're going to be uh, traveling in a new direction, taking a journey. Okay, somebody may be traveling, taking a journey, uh, regaining their strength, their willpower, their discipline, facing some opposition along the way. Somebody could also be moving. I do feel like somebody is moving. Okay, somebody is moving. They're moving someplace. Could even be rehab or or something like that. Doesn't have to be. Somebody is moving somewhere. They're moving. They're packing up and they're leaving and they're going somewhere. They need to. They need to because they need to stabilize. They need they need to. Someone is leaving your life. Get prepared for a change. This person is very unstable. They're insecure. They're going to be doing some soul searching. And this could be you. I see soul searching here. I, I see going within, retreating. I also feel like there is somebody here that has been alone that is about to have uh, a new commitment. It just comes out of nowhere. There's a new commitment here. Unexpected. Unexpected. Maybe it starts with sex and it leads to a commitment. Whether it's you or your partner, I mean, that's what I see. Good luck.